we were looking for a two bed, two bath for 5K a month, split evenly between two, and a 30 minute commute at most, functional layout for two, elevator, lots of sunlight, washer dryer, at least in the building, and good work from home spaces. The nice to haves would be a nice view, an in-unit washer dryer, and a gym. The first apartment building that we visited was a high-rise in the Newport area, and the first apartment we viewed was this apartment um, at $5,115 a month, and it's in a little bit of an older building, but most of the apartments in this building are kind of newly renovated. You can see here it looks pretty modern, pretty sleek, not too bad, has hardwood floors, a partial view of New York, pretty spacious. Actually, these were huge and I was not expecting that, especially after comparing it to a lot of my friends' apartments in Manhattan. But yeah, you can see bathroom is pretty recently renovated. Everything is very large. The lighting was okay in this apartment. It looks pretty bright here, but I think this was north facing for the most part. And as a result, a little bit dim. And especially because it goes so deep in, I would have liked it to be a little brighter. But this being the first apartment, I was actually pretty impressed. It looked way better in person than it did online. So I was feeling pretty good for the rest of the day after this. Now this apartment is another apartment in the same building as the first one. This one is a little cheaper at $5,095 per month. And it also has some pretty good views. You can see here Jersey City as well as Manhattan. It is south facing, at least this room is. So it has also pretty good lighting. That's one of the better orientations to face, I think, for lighting. Looks basically the same as the last apartment in terms of finishes. Uh, this room here gets like a pretty decent view of um, Jersey City as well as Manhattan, the same view as in the living room. But wait till you see the second bedroom. Um, here's another view into the bathroom. But yeah, if you look here into this bedroom, this is where the issue is with this apartment. <laughs> One of the bedrooms would basically face a wall you get a little bit of a view, but yeah, we really just decided that this was not for us because of that. So this is the third apartment that we viewed and it is also in the same building as the other two. This apartment is $5,095 a month, also in Newport. Um, I believe it's about the same size as the other ones. But yeah, the view is not as great from this one. You see a bunch of buildings, but not as bad as the last room in the last apartment. But yeah, you can see all the finishes are pretty standard, um, the same as the other apartments in the building. This apartment was decent, but nothing special to us. And so, yeah. Now this next apartment is priced at 5,033 a month and it is, oh, we're in a new building now. It's a sister building to the previous three. And you can see here the finishes are similar but different. Um, you see that weird teal color with the windows. Um, here you have a great view of Manhattan. Although I don't know if you can tell in this video, but this apartment is actually on the second floor. And even though Newport, especially around this area, is pretty residential and quiet, I don't think I love being on the second floor just because you're so close to the ground, you'll be able to hear trucks and like everything like that. Even though it is pretty quiet, um, it just makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, you see here, decent amount of storage space, decent size room, but we weren't sure if it would fit a queen bed and a desk, which is what we both wanted to fit into our rooms. And the other issue with this apartment was this room here is way bigger than the other one. And me and my roommate wanted to have evenly-ish sized rooms and everything because we were wanted to pay the same amount in rent. Um, so yeah, here's the master, you see the bathroom in it. And all of these have two bathrooms and two beds. But yeah, great view of Manhattan, really lovely, but second floor, over here you can see these people in the park. Now this next 
apartment is another rental in the same building as the previous and this one goes for 5027 a month and obviously it's in Newport very large space just as all the previous ones and all the ones in this collection decent view from this angle of Jersey City and the water which is very nice I love that love the water views it's south facing in some of the rooms which means it gets pretty good lighting um, you see here the finishes are about the same as the previous apartments you've seen decently modern but it is in an older building so when you go in the hallways and stuff you can really feel that as well as the elevators and there's that view again um, now if you go into the next bedroom you'll see a different view um, I believe this face is well here's another bathroom first so I guess this is the master but here you see a different view faces north a little bit and you see some of Jersey City but it's not too nice of a view you really just face some other high-rise apartment buildings this parking lot down below but then you see a little bit of New York which is cool but it's so small that it doesn't really mean that much I feel like there's that head <laughs> Again, decent apartment, but nothing too notable for us. That's right, another quick little viewing into another apartment in the same building or like the same like sister building clump in that area, in that Newport area. This one is $5,069 a month and you see the same teal finishes for the windows, everything is still under this is still under construction but they said it would be done soon and yeah just nothing special about this one either but it's decent this apartment is in the same building as the previous apartment this one is a little bit more expensive and a tiny bit outside of our price range so out at five thousand one hundred and eighty four a month you see a great view of Jersey City, the water, the Hudson, and Manhattan, which is pretty epic. It's south facing, so it gets very decent light. And the first thing that I noticed when I walked in was really the natural lighting. This one is also being renovated, but you can expect it to look the same as the other ones. The view from this room is very good, it has ample space, and it's great. Um, some storage space. And then you walk into the second bedroom, which is a tiny bit smaller, I think, but still very decently sized, could fit a queen and a desk. The view is of Jersey City and New Jersey. Not as great of a view as the living room and the other room, but still decent. Um, again, that bathroom, similar finish as before. This ended up being my favorite apartment that we saw thus far. This next apartment, complex is actually very different than the high rises that we were looking at before it's in a little bit of a different area between newport and exchange it's actually along the water but the views are completely blocked by these trees and it was a little bit dark the carpet was also not great because we would prefer wood but yeah ample space um i think we were kind of just not that into it because it just didn't feel like the vibe that we were going for um, with like the more modern finishes and style of the apartment but this one did have in-unit washer dryer which the previous buildings did not have they had washer dryers on every floor which was decent but not as nice the weird thing was I don't show it in this video but the washer dryer is actually in one of the bedrooms which doesn't really work for us because then we would one of us would have to go to the other to wash and dry our stuff which is weird So this is another apartment complex that was close to the last one, but a much mod more modern building, but it wasn't a high rise, um, only had a few floors. This one was at 4,987. It was about the same size as the other ones, but we thought that the layout was extremely weird so with that weird long hallway that you walked in. And then um, here you can see a huge bathroom for no reason, but this accompanying room I'll show it later but in unit washer dryer which is pretty good for us we definitely would prefer that um, but you see this room is really tiny I think it's 10 by 10 would not really fit a queen bed and a desk like we wanted especially because it's not just 10 by 10 but also has that weird dent and 
layout that isn't really a square. The view is decent. It is a little like lower to the ground. Um, from this angle though, it's not very great. <laughs> but yeah, here's this room. I think we were just discussing about how this room is like really way too tiny for either of us. Um, but then you go here into the living room and it's great because you have so many windows. It's not facing south. Um, it's facing north, but because there are so many windows, it still felt really bright and bright enough for us. Here you see that view of Manhattan, which is amazing. And another thing to note about this building was that it is literally built on top of the pier. It like goes into the ocean or the Hudson. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that because it looks really cool and would be a great place to stay. But I don't know if like signing a year long lease would be good. Like. If there were a hurricane or something i feel like that would be pretty scary but yeah great space but terrible layout and that kind of made it not suitable for us this next apartment is a apartment in a high rise near exchange place it went for four thousand seven hundred and sixty five a month you see here the finishes are super nice looking and new i think this is a newer building it's a luxury high rise um and i really fell in love with this building but i have heard some terrible things about it um from someone i know that lived there as well as all the reviews about like poor management and how everything was built to look really nice but was actually really cheap so things were breaking all the time and the whole time i was touring these apartments i really just try to remind myself that a lot of people had had bad experiences here and honestly that's probably why it was like so much cheaper also even though it was like a really nice apartment building and everything looked absolutely beautiful i did actually open some of the drawers and it was pretty like cheap feeling i'm not like a drawer expert or anything but definitely weary of those things um but yeah pretty nice views most of it blocked by this building but from good angles you can really see some nice water front views this one is a corner unit in that same building as the previous one so again weary about management um, cheap quality of the build and everything like that and same finishes as the last one this room is pretty small but this apartment went for 5141 a month closet now i liked this apartment actually more than the last one um, because the views were better and it was a corner unit so that view is pretty good you see um you'll see in the living room that it's really nice from there as well washer dryer this is the beautiful part so the kitchen everything looks amazing the views are incredible very high up um the classic corner unit in a city aesthetic very nice looking this one <laughs> faces that building the office building but from certain angles you see really nice views i just really had to remind myself that i should not live here <laughs> because people would leave terrible reviews about it and if i did move in and then something happened i would just be really sad <laughs> now this last apartment was one i was really intrigued to see because it was so much cheaper than the other ones we were looking at at a similar like size and everything like that so this is 4260 a month near grove street which is a very prime location for us to commute to new york and there's a lot of things to do here and everything the rooms were a little bit tiny, but we were like, you know, it's fine. It's so cheap. But here is the kicker. You see the train tracks right there. It is really, really loud. We were only in this apartment for like five minutes and three light rail things went by and it like dings every time. And you can even hear like the ground shake as it goes by. So even though it's such a good deal for the actual apartment and everything looked and felt great, we knew we just couldn't live here. In the end, we did sign an apartment that I'm super excited about, but for the sake of privacy, I didn't show that one as well as a few others that were pretty redundant to the ones that were similar in the video. 
But still, I hope that was helpful and gave you a good sense of what you can get in Jersey City for around 5k. And thanks for watching.